Stacy looks so enthused. Look what you did. What time did you get up this morning? Four. Four? I'm with my, my little family over here and we're filming hey guys. for my channel trailer. Yay. <laughs> they come in like a package of three, so you'll never see them without each other. <laughs> Every once in a while. Most of the time. It's okay, I like all three of them equally. Maybe some more than others. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Stacy's always the favorite. You know, no one cannot like Stacy, I feel. That is a proven fact. So we're shooting a little bit of footage for my channel trailer. And I'm excited for this channel trailer because I want people to come to my channel and like actually understand what you're gonna be getting out of it. So hopefully we can put together, or Austin can put together something super comprehensive that just shows everything you guys are gonna be getting in this channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I welcome you. Thank you for being here. And if you guys are OG subscribers, I hope that this is true and encompassing everything that the channel has to offer. So thank you guys always for being here and I appreciate you guys. What up, yo? Hi. This is Amanda's channel. Yeah. How's it going? She's in getting a water jug right now. She's but... inside getting a water jug, so we're vlogging on the camera real quick because she doesn't know that we're, we're sneaky and we stealing want to it play. away. We love you, Amanda Panda. We're on our way to Barbell Brigade right now. We're gonna film some flossiness. I love you, love her. I love you, Amanda. Okay. Good. All right, we just had an awesome workout. I feel super, super strong today, and I'm really excited to explain to you guys what I did for my workout today. So we got into the gym, and we had a little bit of a time crunch, and the gym was really busy. So I knew that number one, squats were the number one thing on my list that I have to do now that I'm in meat prep. Squat, bench, and deadlift is what I'm prioritizing. So I made sure to focus on my squats. I was really honing in on my technique today. I wanted to make sure that I had the bar really really tight across my back and I kept my upper body as tight as possible because that just makes the movement easier. It just keeps your center of gravity really tight together and it just allows you to have better balance underneath the bar and more power coming out of the bottom. So previously I was doing 155 pounds for four sets of six and this week my goal was to just add five pounds to that to make sure and ensure that I'm getting stronger. That is what progressive overload is. So I did 160 pounds today for four sets of six and I felt really strong doing that and I'm super excited. It just means that my program is working, I'm getting stronger and I'm getting one step closer towards my goal. So I was really focusing on my breathing, my breathing technique and making sure to fill my stomach up before I squatted, take a deep breath, hold it, make sure I'm strong in the bottom, explode out of the top and yeah, that just felt really, really good. So I was happy with that. And I just made sure that I wanted to hit the accessory movements that are gonna help me with my squat bench and deadlift. So we started off doing three sets of 12 for glute ham raise. And I love this machine. I love this. If you guys have this apparatus at your gym, I highly recommend using it because it just really helps me fire my glutes and hamstrings. Next thing we did, a couple of upper body exercises, accessory movements. We did shoulder lateral raises. My shoulders are something that number one, I'm trying to grow because they're like a lagging body part of mine. And number two, they're gonna help me with my overhead pressing movements I'm trying to grow my shoulders and get stronger in my overhead press as well so we did three sets of between 15 and 20 of that because I wanted to get four sets in again we're in a time crunch so uh, that's another way that you can modify your training if you guys are in a time crunch or if the gym is busy the last few things that we did were a bicep and tricep movement so biceps are another lagging body part of mine I always like to hit those a couple times a week so um, I just stuck with the same cable apparatus for the whole entire thing. So we did a tricep push down with one unilateral tricep push down just with one cable. And I focused on that. Triceps are really important to make sure you're strong for your bench press. So we did three sets of 15 to 20 for that as well as unilateral bicep curls. So three sets of 15 to 20 with that as well. And then the last thing that we ended with was cable crunches. And normally I would like to use the rope or a straight bar or something like that to hold on to. But Gym was busy, all I had was the single hand cable attachment, so I just did three sets of 20 of those as well, and that's something you can do to modify your training if you guys are in a rush, if you guys are at a busy gym or something like that, and uh, we just did that last part of the workout within like 20 minutes or so, which is awesome, so thank you guys so much for watching this little portion, and thank you to Austin for editing this. You always do an amazing job at putting everything together, so I'll catch you guys in the rest of the video, or if this is the end of the video, I'm not really positive, uh, we'll figure it out. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.
guys enjoyed that workout edit, I'm trying to do something new where I incorporate the edits, but I'm also incorporating the informational, helpful stuff to you guys as well. So I hope you guys like that style of video. And it is now about 5.30. It's super dark out, so it gets really dark out really early now, and I feel like it's so much later than it is, and I'm really stressed. I have to pack for both Chicago and Florida at the same time, so I haven't packed a thing yet, and we have to be at the airport at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So getting ready to pack now, and something that I typically do for packing, this is um a bag of, s not drugs, <laughs> bag of uh, aminos. Um, so instead of taking this whole entire thing with me, I'll just pla pack it in a supplement, in a plastic bag. Put like probably 10 or 12 servings worth of, of uh, aminos in this so I can take it with me on the plane and I don't have to worry about this taking up a lot of space in my bag. So I'm literally just gonna pour half of this into here. Pea Science on their website also has some sample packets as well. So I'm gonna take some Ergonine, which is the creatine supplement, and then I'm gonna take some Alphamine as well so I don't have to pack an entire thing of either of them. And we're also gonna go ahead and take, oh, let's see if I can get this. Not gonna happen. <laughs> but luckily I have a step stool to get on top of my fridge. We're also going to take a bunch of protein with us. Not going to take the entire tub, but I am going to take some in a big plastic bag. Next time I see you guys, I will be in Chicago, and that is going to wrap up today's vlog. So crazy. I'm so, I'm so gross right now, too. You look beautiful, oh, my dear. I haven't washed my hair in four days. You look so cute. It's not, good, it's not good to wash your hair every day, guys. Yeah, it's not. It's pointless <laughs> completely. Yeah. I washed mine last night. Live on dry shampoo. Hi! I need to get some dry shampoo and self tanner. Can we go shopping on Monday in Chicago? Absolutely. I need to go to Sephora oh, yeah. and get dry shampoo and get new makeup that I'm like out of and shit. Yes. So next time you see us, we will be in Yay. Chicago! Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. You should have yeah, let me film that whole thing. I have it filming right here. Oh, do you? <laughs> All right, so the way that I am doing this right now is I figured out that I 100% need a few things, those few things being gym stuff, so I put leggings 100% in my Chicago bag. So this is gonna be one bag for just Chicago. And then I also bought a few sweaters, and I have like maybe three or four uh, cute like baggy sweaters that I can wear just during the day when we're going shopping going to eat whatever it happens to be uh, I also brought one pair of heeled boots to go out in I brought a pair of um, I brought a few pairs of boots because I'm gonna be wearing boots every single day I brought two pairs of sneakers for the whole trip So one pair of like running cardio shoes and then one pair of chucks I can squat and deadlift in my chucks, so that is absolutely perfect I only need those which is really really nice. I won't bring my squat shoes or anything just because it's too they're too heavy and it's not worth it. I will however bring my my belt. I need to bring that cuz starting to lift heavier, so I definitely want to be bringing the belt. Um I brought a few pairs of socks and underwear that I put in here so far, and I think the only other thing that I need to put in this bag is oh, I brought a few jackets. I brought one green jacket, one black jacket, and then one like short black jacket. That's not a warm jacket, it's just a cute jacket. And then the only other thing I really need is one more hoodie and some gym shirts. What are you watching? No idea, it's a new movie. It's a new movie? Uh -huh. Looks intense. I finished packing, woohoo! One bag for Chicago and one bag for Miami. I think I did a decent job, we'll see. I decided, okay, just. Thing needs to. I decided that if I forgot anything, I would just buy it <laughs> when I get there because packing is just getting to be slightly kind of confusing in terms of what I need. I've gotten pretty good at it, not gonna lie, but if I forgot anything, I'm not gonna worry about it. Pretty sure I got everything that I need, mostly in my carry-on bag, which is my backpack. I bring all my camera stuff, my camera bodies, the lenses, the chargers, the battery, like all of the important stuff that if I lose, I 
don't want to lose, like lose my bags or anything. So all of that stuff goes in there. Um, some food and a jacket as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I had a really good weekend. Good weekend with John. Where are you? Yo. Hi, John. <laughs> Thanks for staying. Uh, what are you doing? You're breaking our house. Karen did it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he just broke our shit. I'm too big of a human for these little plants. You're not a good guest. There are fake plants. Where'd it go? I still love you, girl. Did you just? It's right here. Invoice me. Invoice me. <laughs> <laughs> for the fake plant. At least you picked it up. It's okay. It was literally already broken and I've already done that once before. Oh, wait. This is already gone? Yeah. Oh, I don't feel that bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's already broken. Um, I forgot if I introduced John or not. Yeah, I did. I, I said who you are. Yeah, just kidding. Anyway. All right, we had a good weekend and we're all headed to the airport tomorrow. John's going back to Scottsdale, Arizona and Karen and I are going to Chicago. So can't wait to take you guys on our Chicago adventures. We're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. So make sure you guys are subscribed in order to follow along and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.